Okay, uh, hi, this is uh, John Jalib here. Um, I've got to put a new putty buyer head onto this buyer here. But as these are my electric tabla, and that means they have microphones inside, so I thought it's very rare I have the heads off. Uh, and while one is off, I'll show you guys out there on YouTube, or you girls, uh, just how I set this up. Uh, first, I bought um, this. Bear with me while I focus in. These AKG C418 microphones. They have a clip, it's like a clothes peg sort of thing. And there's the mic there. And you, this piece here is like the clothes peg. So, that's the microphone. I bought two of them. One for the buyer. One for the tabla. Or the Dana, as other people say. <coughs> there's the microphone. Which is in the buyer. See that torch sheds any light? There, as you see. Uh, this is the mic head here, it's got the, uh, the muffler on it, which I prefer to keep on. Right. There's the AKG fitting which I use. I'll take that out. There. I had to drill a hole. This is a copper buy, as you can see, from Calcutta. I drilled a hole here for the AKG fitting to go through. I can't remember, I think I had to bore these holes here, I'm not sure if they were there. Uh, the fitting comes through and there are little bolts here that go through these smaller holes There's here, there's long thin bolts there. I go through and I use that clip this bit is the clip and I mount the clip on there on the two long bolts I drill the hole through what would be this bit here the green bit you see there just to secure that further so there you have it it's sitting on there clip to the microphone Now, when you buy you, this setup, you also have to get this box, which I have as a B9. I believe now what they sell is the B29, this one here. Similar. What happens is, originally when you buy it, the microphone. Uh, it's supposed to be a clip-on microphone, obviously, for instruments. Obviously, this is adapted for tabla. And what you cut, you've got this lead that comes from the microphone here. This would normally come from the microphone. This lead attached to this and go in here. You've got a left and right side on this box for two mics. I use two boxes. There's the other one. I prefer to have one box, one for the tablet, one for the buyer, rather than use one for buyer in the left and tablet in the right, because I get more power individually. Right, so that's basically the components. Obviously because this is attached to the microphone when you buy it, you have to cut it. There's a long lead, there's a lot of it wrapped around here. And I cut it, leaving a bit of length here. Sorry, excuse the mess. Oops, there it is anyway. There, this is so difficult doing all this on your own. Right. 
OK. I cut it and I attached this AKG male fitting to go into this female one here. So it's basically you just have to open up this fitting and you solder the wires. You can't really go wrong and if you do just turn them around and solder them the other way. Uh, and then <clears throat> on the uh, inside of this AKG fitting you have to solder the wires of the remaining wire to that. So basically you're just breaking this lead and putting this AKG in between. So once you've done all that you just plug this in here and that's it set up. I tend to uh, put the mic quite high up, I don't know if you can quite see, it's quite high up there. It's maybe Oh, just less than an inch from the what surface. Obviously, I don't want the skin when it's on to touch the mic, but I want it just to get as close. I don't know. It could be better a bit deeper, but I'm not going to waste time experimenting. So there, that's the setup. Here's the tabla with the same thing here. Obviously, when you're putting the head back on if you've done this with the tablet to drill a hole in the wood if you're putting the head back on you have to be careful with the lashing so you don't cover this fitting you leave it this much space be able to get the fitting in you don't want a piece of lashing here for instance right in the middle of that fitting so there you go <coughs> right I'm just gonna pause this and move the camera up. Okay, we're back on track. Uh, you're up there, I'm down here. So, here is my jack lead. It's going to go into this box here. The box I showed you. The left end. This left end is coming from this, this fitting here on the buyer to here. I'll turn the volume down. Sorry about that. Uh, normally I'd put this into a guitar amp, but for today I'm just going in through my hi-fi, through the amp, you know, uh, from the jack to a couple of phonos, just to get some sound uh, to demonstrate. Here's the volume here, I'm going to turn that up. It's got left and right, obviously, if you had this one coming in here as well, the tabla, into the right, you would put this in the middle, there's five, uh, five volume markers each way, so I'd put that at zero. But because I'm just using the left, I'm going to incline it all towards the left. You can hear that the sound coming out of the speakers. Obviously, I prefer the guitar, but I can get even more volume because this is not really the, the right thing, a hi-fi speakers, but you get the idea, you can hear. That demonstrates that. 